clients was very involved in that uh, consultation as, as designers, so they came to the consultations, participated in them, took away information from the initial consultations, came back with ideas of what sort of rooms might be possible, what kind of configurations. Uh, we did a lot of work with the university you know, on this idea of student-centred learning. I mean, it's a pretty logical idea uh, to make or to put students at the centre of learning and there's a lot of really good academic research about how students learn much better instead of just listening to a lecturer. So what's interesting to us as architects is how we can actually design environments that actually allow students to work together uh, and learn together and we think that's really exciting. So Lions were very good at um, listening then responding, then listening again. One of the first bits of research we did when we were starting work on the design of the project is we had people out, in fact our own students working for us, looking at how students use spaces around the camps and we found that students go to Melbourne Central, uh, they go to the State Library, they go to cafes, they, they go to all these places around the campus rather than actually staying on the campus. So I guess we set ourselves the design goal of trying to create some spaces within the building which were interesting, attractive, had the technology. Um, yeah, we did have some cafe, have some cafe space where students would actually choose not to go to these other places, <laughs> but actually stay on campus and within the building because we've got spaces set up to cater for them. We're building an international renowned business school, and what better symbol to badge it with than this fabulous, kind of funky, state of the art learning and teaching. Uh, building in the heart of Melbourne, in Swanston Street, enabling you to engage with the city at the same time. When you're looking at what sort of environment will suit the student of today, and I guess more importantly, like what the student of the next generation is going to be interested in, well, particularly things like technology. I mean, no one has really yet a handle on how technology will work in a learning sense. Everyone's having a bit of a guess about it. So in fact, some of the spaces have no technology in them at all, quite deliberately, so students and staff can get away from uh, that endless sense of you have to do everything through technology and, and almost learn old skills of how to talk to each other and interact together and learn through that process. It's a building that's got portals that look out over the city and give different perspectives. Each has a different feel and design for trying to integrate the perspective into the building itself and present it around the colours that are there, uh, the type of furniture that's there and these portals cover two different levels across the, the, the sort of cityscape. So it's, it's really a way of engaging, making exciting the student experience of being in the building itself. Uh, look, I think the thing that we're really excited about in the building is that um, you know, for such a major building and such a major commitment and investment by RMIT, uh, it really is putting students at the centre of the learning experience. You know, when you travel around the country to other universities, they have student-centred learning spaces, but they're often a few yeah, and they're at the experimental end of their teaching and learning. Uh, RMIT has decided to build a major new building, 35,000 square metres, with over 80 teaching and learning spaces in it that are all focused on this you know, new methodology for, for learning. And I guess as architects it's exciting for us to do a design which responds to that brief and I guess that's the thing that we we would be most proud of is the fact that we can design a building which does match the uh, you know, really extraordinary aspirations of the university itself. I think the new learning spaces reinvigorate everyone. They reinvigorate the lecturers and the teachers, they reinvigorate the students, they offer so many new possibilities. Uh, so yes, it's a very exciting time for us all. 